This is a quick tutorial about a fin designer using Archboard. Welcome my friend, this is Jonathan and I'm gonna show you right now how you guys can use. This is my screen, if you click here on a fin designer file, new, then you, the first thing that you need to see it is the create artboard, this setting over here. I will click create artboard, I will leave my DPI as 144, this is my standard and I'm gonna create this document that it is a key FAD that is gonna find here on the web. Create, then you're gonna have this document. Uh, with the archboard, you can select this option here that's called archboard tool. And then the first thing that you need to, need to make sure it is the size. You can change the size of your archboard. Different from the documents when you don't have archboard, you cannot change this easily. You need to go to the file and then click here, document setup to change the size manually which is painful so with archboard you can create in case that you have this document empty click here this icon and click in document it's option in document click insert archboard there we go you're gonna have this result then make sure to see the size can you see this screen this is the transform panel where you can find here in the view studio and here view right and then guys you'll be able to change the size as well manually over here i can type 2000 and there we go you can click here in this icon that is gonna follow uh, the size proportionally by the linkage so if i type 3000 it's gonna follow up okay one thing that i want to show you as well that you guys can change the fill color of your artboard i can easily change to this and change the size gonna follow 100% without need to add uh, square and then change what's gonna happen if I do this look I've placed this rectangle inside of our artboard and then let's say that you want to change it's gonna happen this right so pay attention to this if this option it is this option here it is disabled it's gonna uh, basically follow your object that it is inside as a nice example I want to show you about this let's suppose that you did this let's say this post for Instagram I'm gonna copy this and paste in this document to show you and here can you see this image it's outside of my archboard it's a group and then I can do this simply click here in the archboard document but that case I'm gonna select here selection make sure to keep the selection uh, turn it on and uh, also the group here it is turning on click insert uh, archboard it's gonna create archboard right now over here and then you can simply change the size it's here also you can duplicate main of them if you want to create let's say carousels for instagram and one thing that also it is very good it is that if you delete it's gonna ask you if you delete the archboard it's gonna ask you to if you want to keep the object alive or if you want to delete with the archboard if you click here delete object is gonna delete everything that it is inside of the archboard if i click here keep object it's gonna keep the objects and then our archboard will be here so let me explain just few things about archboards archboard it is very handy to use you can change the size easily it doesn't matter actually you don't need to follow 100 percent the size of your documents so let's say you are creating an instagram post or anything else you don't need to do this size here no because you can simply change the size of your artboard easily by click on here and then change the size but remember about this problem if you just hit here let's say this way uh without hitting the lock children is gonna you know change the aspect ratio of your images so look at this you can simply change like that because the look children it is turned on in case that you guys want to change the assets that it is inside of this archboard to another archboard you can simply drag from here to another one and this is what's gonna happen if you just drag over here it's gonna place automatically to the group of the archboard number one okay and if you want to back this to the archboard just drag over here and then I think to recognize that you have placed this inside of this artboard. And if I want to remove, click here, delete object. There's it. And the last thing about the artboard, uh, before we <laughs> officially wrap up this lesson, you guys can click here, export persona. Uh, it's gonna be uh, automatically sliced, all right? If you hit this icon, it's gonna export everything here in this artboard. And just to show you, you another example if I duplicate this archboard like that click here again you're gonna see another archboard over here but you need to change the name okay if you duplicate because this icon will tell you there is the same name turn it on you can change the slice over here I want to bring another lesson about carousels 
but for now I just want to keep this very simple and basic for you. Like this, I can change the slice size, but if you right now change the artboard size and position, the slice will keep in that way because it's gonna disconnect with the synchronization. I hope this is very clear and make sure also to join the club because you're gonna have access to the mini courses, a lot of lessons, more than 200 lessons already done for Affinity and I teach you illustrations, everything about Affinity as well. Guys, that's it for now. If you enjoyed, uh, access here the link on the description to access the Vectorize Club. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video and bye bye. Take care.